Welcome to Fallout 76. This is Jim. In this video, we're going to take a look at completing daily challenges for today, Saturday, November the 18th, 2023. Let's take a look at it and see what we got for today. All right, we get a few different ones here, which is nice. Now, I did re-roll completed daily ops, and I got this one instead. Take a camera picture of a Mylark Hunter, which we'll take a look. And uh, I believe the next one that we got, I think it was Craft or Scrap Armor 5 that I re-rolled. And it was uh, Collect Caps. And uh, we did have a Collect Caps video just the other day, so there's no sense of uh, talking about that one again. I have many videos on that. So uh, I have many videos on my channel that will help you guys out for every single one of these daily and weekly challenges. I give you different locations, different ideas. Easy areas, hard areas, all depending on where you are with your character. I'm sure you'll find a video on my channel that will help you guys out. I keep them up to date as best as I can in terms of locations and stuff like that. Okay, so let's take a look here. There's a couple here that we can do at the same time. I think the first thing that we'll take a look here at doing our Red Ark Camp is uh, craft or scrap armor 5. So we can go out in the wasteland. We can kill a few enemies and uh, find some armor bits off them and then scrap them. Or we could just craft uh, some armor and just scrap it right in our old uh, camp here. We'll do that right now. Let's go right to our armor workbench right here. Let's go, let's go craft. And uh, light armor is armor that you'll learn right off the hop. Like usually these leather pieces you'll learn at the very beginning of the game. All right, let's go ahead. We're going to craft three leather left arm level one. It's only going to cost us one cloth, one le leather and two steel. Uh, the majority of people will probably have this uh, plan. And, um, you know, you can go ahead and craft three of them. Or you can do it the other way. You can go search for them in the wasteland if you like. I just find this a lot easier. So we crafted three of them. Let's back out. All right, we're going to go scrap. I'm going to scrap the leather left arms we just crafted. Done. Just like that. I'd just rather do it that way. It's just so much easier. <laughs> And it doesn't cost a lot of resources at the same time, so even better, right? Okay, let's see uh, what else we can do here. Um, let's go ahead. We're going to uh, take a picture of a Myler Hunter 1. Uh, so I have a couple of videos on this. A very reliable location for a Myler Hunter is right down here in Lake Reynolds. I like to kind of spawn here at Lewisburg Station. It just spawns us just up the road. And... Uh, we kind of up a little on the high ground against that Mylurk Hunter and a few other Mylurks. Now we could take a picture of a Mylurk, whether he's dead or alive, it doesn't matter. We need to use a Pro Snap Deluxe camera instead of photo mode, so keep that in mind. So let's go ahead here. So here's uh, Lake Reynolds here, and there's our Mylurk Hunter way on the other side. And uh, we're going to take care of these bad boys here. He's on his way here. So he died. And that's fine. You can take a picture of him if he's dead or alive. Doesn't matter. There we go. So there's our Mylark Hunter there. Real reliable spot. So again, as it says, take a camera picture. So we need to use the Pro Snap Deluxe camera. If we try to use photo mode here, it's not going to work. Oh, I've reached the max amount of photos anyway. Uh, so if that ever happens while we're on the while we're on the topic, if we are if you do have to use photo mode for something, you just go to your photo gallery, okay? And you just go pick out some pictures that you don't want. And um, you can just go ahead and delete some of these guys. Just make some room. But I do want to show you that using Pro Snapdex or the <coughs> the photo mode is not gonna work, okay? So let's take our, our picture here. <laughs> if I could figure out how to do it, Jim. Holy mackerel, bud. <laughs> hey, listen, just getting off a 12-hour shift. I'm really tired. Let's go ahead and take our picture. Oh, it did. Oh, use photo mode to ash. Oh, look at that. That's a different challenge. Isn't that weird? That's weird how that happens. So <laughs> nothing to do with our daily challenge here. That was something else that popped up. So we use photo mode to take a picture of this Mylurk Hunter. 
Let's take a look at it just to show it didn't work. Right there, okay. That was something totally different. That had something to do with, like, one of the, uh, world, uh, world events. One of these guys down here, okay? That's what that was. Isn't that so weird how that worked like that? Odd. Odd. So let's go ahead. We're going to open up our Pro Snapdex camera. It'll be under our weapon section, this bad boy right here. Let's go ahead and equip him. All right, now we got to make sure it says Myler Hunter at the top right-hand corner of the screen. Now watch how it kind of goes away. And then it comes back, so we got to make sure it says that. So there we go. Take a camera picture of a Mylar Hunter one for one. We have to use a Pro Snap Deluxe camera. Let's go ahead and uh, reload this bad boy here. There we go. All right, let's uh, put our uh, weapons back on uh, just so I don't forget. There we go. And uh, let's get something to drink here because uh, my uh, guy's a little parched there. There we go. Perfect. Again, right here, good old Lake Reynolds, real reliable spot for Mylar Hunters. Uh, if they're, if you come here and they're already dead, that's fine. Take a picture, even if you kill them or not, right? Take, take a picture, and it will count, all right? Just you got to use a Pro Snap Deluxe camera and not uh, photo mode. Okay. Now we that beat that to death. <laughs> let's, uh, let's go ahead and claim a workshop. We're going to claim a workshop. And then we're going to build defense, appliance, or crafting items in that workshop. So uh, we've done this many a times. Usually I build this stuff in my camp. But seeing how we have a workshop, we might as well just go along with it. Okay, so we can be any workshop on the map. All right, so let's open up our map here. Any workshop at all. Uh, I like to kind of pick easy ones uh, that are real easy to do. A real good ones up right up here at Hemlock Hole. So let's uh, fast travel to my survival tent. We'll save a few caps here. All right, then we'll fast travel to Hemlock Holes, and then we'll work our way down the road. We've come here many a times. There we go. And we want to head this way, east. And down the road here, we'll claim this workshop. I like this workshop because it's kind of like a wide open area. There's not very many hidey hole places. And there's a, uh, one of those guys. Three-star treasure hunter. That's awesome. What do you got for me? You get a three-star assassin's excavator right arm. You get a three-star something from a three-star legendary. Right. Right on. That's good. I'm two for two now. Two for two. What I mean by that is, uh, oh, we need to clear some enemies around. Must be some enemies around here. Um, what I mean by that is the last time I had a three-star enemy, I was, uh, I got a three-star, um, item, legendary item from them, which is good. That, uh, really happens. I was on a roll probably a few months ago, and, uh, I think it was like seven or eight in a row. And uh, it worked out quite well. And then, um, of course, I forget. I think it was like the Spooky Scorch event. And, of course, I got a, you know, three-star Spooky Scorch and gave me one-star uh, <laughs> legendary item. But uh, it happens. But uh, start a new roll here. Two of them. Two in a row. <laughs> so that's good. Nice. Right, so we're going to claim our workshop here. There we go. Claim a workshop one for one. Perfect. And you can you can claim any workshop at all, whatever's on the map, whatever one's closest to you. If you don't like the fast travel, build defense, appliance, or crafting items in a workshop or camp. We could do it at our camp, or we could do it right at our workshop here. Let's open up our build menu here. All right, let's go to uh, defense. Let's build one of these bad boys. Okay, let's go to uh, crafting. Okay, there we go. Let's go appliance. You don't have to build all separate different things. You could, you could, we could have built all three fences if we wanted to. All right, there we go, done. Just like that, guys. You can keep the stuff there if you like. I'm just going to scrap it because I plan, don't plan on uh, staying on the server very long. There we go, done. Just like that, easy, 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 easy. Um, the next one we're going to kind of incorporate, repair armor weapons and power armor five into uh, these scorch because. Uh, we had this one here just the other day, 
and a lot of my armor and weapons are still, you know, above 100%, most of them. And uh, so we're going to actually do the other way that I mentioned before, is we're actually going to kill some Scorch, get their weapons, because they'll be, you know, used, and we will repair them. All right, now, we're going to be using the repair kits. We're not going to be using valuable resources. All right, I've showed you that before. So uh, we're going to cripple a Scorched Arm, and we're going to kill some Scorch at the same time, and then take some weapons and armor on them, off them. So you can uh, use vats to uh, cripple arms, or you can uh, free aim. If you decide to use vats, there's a perk card for that. It's under perception. It's called Concentrated Fire. This will allow you to move your vats around from head, torso, legs, arms. You know what I mean? So uh, this is a big card to have if you use vats, such as myself. Or you can free aim. Nothing's going to stop you from free aiming. All right, let's go after some Scorch. We're close to Wavy Willard's Water Park, so I might as well just stay up here. It's a good little picture there. Yeah, you gotta excuse me there. I'm, uh... Just getting off of a 12-hour shift, and I'm a little on the tired side, but, um... Try to help the community out and with these videos. All right, so again... Cripple Scorched Arm. Now, if you're lucky enough, you'll be able to... Where's he going? Huh? All right, then. You'll be able to use one Scorched and cripple both their arms. And uh, you can get away with it that way. Left arm. Right arm. Right arm. Yeah, it hurts. Yeah. Yeah, I bet it does. I don't know where the other guy went. He disappeared into oblivion. Right arm. Oh, the other one didn't even count. Left arm. Here we go. Cripple Scorch's arm. That weirdy, yeah, I got that one done. That's weird. Anyway. The other guys didn't count, apparently. Count it now, so that's fine. That's good. We'll finish off these scorched here and uh, we'll go along. If we find any uh, treasure hunter mole miners along the way, we'll uh, take care of them as well. So now we can kill these scorched any which way. And I forgot to pick up some weapons off these guys. We can head back anyway, it doesn't matter. We only need five of them. So there's a uh, death tambo. He looks uh, pretty full, actually. That doesn't happen very often. That's uh, full health uh, death tambo there, carried by that guy. He must have just uh, crafted it or something. <laughs> or found it. I'm going to pick this up. How you doing? Just rounds on him. There we go. Alright, we got a uh, combat shotgun. Okay, we got a Gatlin laser. And I'm overweight. Hunting rifle here we can use as well. Let's go ahead and... Uh, huh. Let's go ahead and grab a carry weight booster. So we're going to take these to my camp. There we go. I got all kinds of that anyway, so... Why not? I also use some of that stuff up, trying to lighten the load. Talk about lighten the loads, let's lock and load. <laughs> he's just a guy over here, but uh oh he's way down there. Oi! Oi! Oh I see ya. Hey, pump action shotgun. Beautiful. Beautiful. There we go. This is all you have to do, too. Just uh, incorporate some of these uh, 
daily challenges. There we go. Hatchet. He's full, full health. Beautiful. We should have enough weapons on us now that we can, uh... Grab that hunting rifle, grab him. There we go. Now you can choose what you want. I prefer, of course, okay, of course. I know I had, I know it's pretty easy to, to mention. But, uh, obviously fix the weapons and armor that you have and that you use and that you store first, okay? But, uh, as I mentioned, uh, a lot of my stuff is already, um, up to full health or more. Let's go ahead and fast travel to my camp. Now, I'm a big fan of, of repair kits. I know some people are not. And that's fine. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. Whether they use them or not. How did they get in here? Huh. Odd. Odd. Okay. And, um... Armor, or where's our weapons workbench here? Let's go, uh, modify for a second. There we go. Back on the other side. Um, so... You can repair these at a workbench, right? Oh my lord, really? Nice job, guys. Nice job there, turrets. <laughs> we can repair these uh, weapons at the old workbench. Alright, but it's going to cost us uh, valuable resources. So if we try to... Uh, repair these bad boys... going to cost us some resources, okay? And uh, I'd rather not use resources, especially on weapons I don't plan on keeping, okay? And if we're just, just doing daily weekly challenges, of course, as I mentioned, prepare your stuff that you use, that you store first. And uh, if that's all good and this, you know, comes up again, just go around, kill some scores like I just did, or super mutants, whatever. Take some uh, weapons off them and repair them using the repair kits. This is where the repair kits come in handy, okay? Now, I use repair kits all the time, even for my own weapons, all right? Let's go over here to armor. And uh, here's that hunting rifle. We get out that scorched. Now, see the bottom of the screen says inspect repair, so we're going to hit that button. Brings up this screen. And then the bottom of the screen says repair kit 31. So in my case, it's Y, so whatever button this is for you, you select that. That's going to prop this up. Basic repair kit. Or improve repair kit. So basic repair kit will bring it to 100%. Improve repair kit will be like 150% thereabouts. Okay. Just use the basic repair kits. All right. And uh, this is what I use repair kits for. And um, yeah, it serves it serves a purpose. No. Nope. Hit the wrong button again there, Jim. You're slowly losing your mind. Basic repair kit. Okay, there's 205. Okay. Um, where's the one that I've been using? All right, so let's repair this guy. This is uh, one of my own weapons. Let's, uh, let's go ahead. We're going to uh, use the improved repair kit on this bad boy. See how it says 150% there? Show, see how it says that in the condition bar? All right, because that's the weapon I use. Basic repair kit. Okay, just one more. Basic repair kit. Uh, there we go. Repair. Armor weapons. Power armor. Five for five. Done. Just like that. Just using repair kits. And that's what I use them for. And a lot of times if I'm out and about. It's, you know, usually when my uh, <laughs> weapons uh, are get, getting close to being damaged. And uh, I'll just use a repair kit just to kind of get me through until the, you know, the next time. But yeah, I'm a big fan of repair kits. And uh, we're just going to scrap. Scrap this stuff here, because we don't uh, really need it. You can learn some mods off this stuff if you like. And I think that's it. I think we are done, guys. Nothing else to uh, see there. Nope, doesn't look like it. Alright, let's take a look. Perfect. So you see how I did the day of the challenges in... 
you guys follow along. You know, if, there, if you know what to do, know where to go. Basically, the way that I make these videos, I show you guys how you can incorporate. Uh, so you're not doing, you know, going all over the map, right? You can incorporate many daily, many daily, daily challenges into, uh, you know, one-stop shop kind of deal, right? Sometimes we could do half of them in our camp. Uh, this one here, we were only able to do one. Um, you know, we could have done this one here in our camp, but I wanted to show, you know, hey, claim a workshop. And then build these appliances in the workshop. Just give you guys different ideas, right? And um, just in case those guys, the guys don't have the caps to uh, fast travel and and such. So, yeah, so there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to try to get some sleep. <laughs> Please like, subscribe, and share when you have the chance. It really helps me out. I'd like to thank my channel members, Artistically Arranged, Boogaloo Bronson, Michael Edwards, Nigel Whiffen, Heather White Tribe. Thank you all so very much. And I hope you all have a nice day. A nice night. <laughs>